Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS SDTM programming. In this video, we will see about two new variables that are being added to DM domain in SDTM IG 3.3. So here we have th those two variables are arm NRS and act arm UD. So arm NRS is used to capture the reason why arm and actual arm or at least one of them is being null reason for arm or actual arm being null and actum ud is used for describing the unplanned value in actual arm variable so description of unplanned arm description of unplanned actual arm and arm nrs is for reason for arm or actual arm being null so we will assume that we are working in a clinical trial that uh, in which there are two arms one is imp which is investigation and medical product or the placebo there are two arms so the subject may be assigned to one of these two and will take the treatments so let's take uh, let's try to discuss these uh, two variables using six example subjects let's say we have subject 1001 so the planned arm for this subject is I imp and the subject's actual arm is also imp and let's take the second subject who is 1002 and for the plan the planned arm for this subject is placebo and the actual arm was also placebo and 1003 the arm is null and actual arm is also null let's assume that this subject is a screen failure subject and then we have 1004 the planned arm is placebo but actual arm is null so this subject let's assume that after getting randomized subject never took treatment so the actual arm is null here and then 1005 the planned arm was imp but the actual arm is placebo which means there is a difference in between the planned versus actual treatments taken and then we have subject 1006 again here we have arm and actual arm being null so let's say this subject is not a screen failure but the subject chose to discontinue the study after completing the screening procedure but before randomization so 1003 is a case of screen failure but 1006 is not a case of screen failure but uh, discontinuing prior to randomization so let us now try to fill in the possible values for arm nrs for each of the cases let's see if it is applicable if it is applicable we'll try to populate it with a meaningful value so as discussed earlier so arm nrs is meant for capturing the reason why arm or actual arm being null so do we have arm or actual arm null for subject 1001 no so does this variable uh, have a meaning for this subject no so we'll have to leave it null and for 1002 so do we have either arm or actual arm null no so again there is no meaning for this variable and then we have subject 1003 so here if we see arm is null and actual arm is also null so we need to populate the reason why these two or one of them is null so we discussed that this subject is a screen failure subject so the documentation for this subject being a screen failure would have captured in any of the data sets in the raw database so we will use that information check if this subject is a screen failure and then if is a screen failure we would populate the arm nrs as screen failure and then so we have 1004 for this subject the planned arm is placebo but actual arm is null so we need to populate arm nrs when at least one of them is null so for this subject what happened he is assigned to placebo but not treated so in such cases so we may populate the reason as assigned but not treated again so we have subject 1005 so on this case so planned arm was imp actual arm is placebo but is arm or actual arm null no so do we need to populate arm nrs no so we can leave this null so again here 
uh, we have subject 1006 when describing the subject we said that this subject was not a screen failure but discontinued after completing screening procedure before randomization so this subject is not a screen failure but we never assigned treatment to this subject so we can populate a reason like not assigned on so you would not manually do it you would check for supporting data and programmatically do it so you would check if this subject is a screen failure or not if this and then you will check if this subject is randomized or not if this subject is not a screen failure and is not randomized then you would populate it as not assigned now let us see the variable at term ud so as per the definition this is meant for describing the unplanned actual arm so let's go subject by subject again so for subject 1001 is actual arm different from arm no so does this variable have any meaning no so we'll leave it null so again subject 1002 is actual arm uh, not equal to arm no so in both the cases it is placebo again this subject does not have a meaning for act arm ud so and act arm ud will have a meaning only when both arm and actual arm are populated so here both of them are null so we will not have a meaning for act arm ud so here again so placebo that subject has actual arm null so it is meant only when the subject took some treatment but it is different from plan so here it is not that case so we'll have to leave this now and then we have subject 1005 here where the planned arm was imp but actual is placebo so we have both populated and actual arm is different from planned arm so we need to populate act arm ud so what should be the value here let's say so somewhere it is documented in our database that this happened due to dosing error so we would fetch that information when creating our sdtm dm domain and then populate the reason accordingly so let's say this is coming as dosing error or dispensing error so we will populate it with a meaningful value and then for subject 1006 we have both arm and actual arm null so we do not have a meaning for act arm ud so we'll leave this null so these two variables arm nrs and act arm, act arm cd were new in 3.3 sdtm dm domain and this is how you can populate or try to easily remember what is the purpose of them and how you populate them thank you for watching and keep learning